The medal that I'm wearing means so much to so many people. The Live Like Bella Childhood Cancer Foundation helps children battling cancer right here in South Florida. And this year, the organization is commemorating 10 years since Bella lost her life to cancer. This Saturday, February 18th, the foundation will host their annual Superhero 5K race, and they are looking for you to come out and have a good time, but also show your support. And here's how you can help. For 10 years, the Live Like Bella Foundation has committed to being an international recognized leader in childhood cancer research and advocacy. At four years old, Bella Rodriguez Torres was diagnosed with stage 4 RMS, which is a type of cancer that is made up of cells that develop into skeletal muscles that affects parts of your body, such as your head, neck, arms, and legs. And whose life expectancy was very, very grim. Uh, by the grace of God and some extraordinary medicine and support from our community, Bella regained the ability to walk, run, and jump after she had become paralyzed, and she battled valiantly. Throughout her battle with cancer, Bella showed her compassion and strength by giving back to the South Florida community. In May of 2013, Bella lost her fight with cancer. On the night of her passing, LeBron James and Dwayne Wade of the Miami Heat wrote hashtag live like Bella on their shoes, and the hashtag went viral. But more importantly than the hashtag, the movement to live like Bella, which to Bella meant to serve others. And in this aspect, Live Like Bella Childhood Cancer Foundation was born to serve children and families that are battling childhood cancer and to advance pediatric cancer research. Since its inception, the foundation has raised over $26 million, has funded over 45 clinical trials, and has provided over $2.5 million in financial assistance for families all over the world. Live Like Bella is continuing to honor children that are battling their fight with cancer with their annual Superhero 5K race, which is taking place at Zoo Miami this Saturday, February 18th. We encourage everyone to come out with their families, it's a family event, to dress up in their superhero garb and walk along these very valiant children that will be walking, some of them, many of them, without any hair because of their chemotherapy and radiation. They are the true superheroes, and so we all have an opportunity to come together as a community. You can participate in supporting the cause of pediatric cancer research, and you will definitely be inspired. You will have a wonderful time at Zoo Miami. Participants can either run or walk, and if you can't make it to Zoo Miami, there's also a virtual component to it. All who take part in the run will receive a very special medal. This year we wanted to take some input from one of the pediatric cancer children, one of the superheroes, and we asked her what her favorite colors were and how she wanted to commemorate this year's medal in particular. And so rather than Batman and Wonder Woman and all of the other ways we've had it this year, we incorporated her, specifically her color scheme and what she wanted to remember. And one of the things that's very important is from a standpoint of awareness, this particular 10-year medal incorporates the gold ribbon. The gold ribbon is the ribbon of pediatric cancer to create awareness and in solidarity. All those who participate, whether in person or virtually, will get to have this very special medal. Raymond, who started the foundation in his garage, hopes his little Bella is smiling down on him and sees that this movement all came from inspiration, courage, and love. Well, I miss my little girl terribly. I know that she's more alive than ever. I know that she's with us each day. And I know that the next time I see that smile will be in heaven. And I pray that she will be well pleased with what we did to try to help her friends who are the other children battling cancer. To participate in the race, visit livelikebella.org.